average types of hair textures. When working with coarse hair, a hotter iron must be used. The highest group of three lights now illuminate, telling you that your iron is ready to be used to straighten or curl even the toughest of hair. If the top red light is lit when your iron is placed on the probe, your iron is too hot. You may either let the iron sit to cool or spin the iron to speed up the cooling process. Recheck the iron before applying it to the hair. With the use of the electronic heat tester, you'll find that your styling technique will become faster, easier, and you'll be able to accomplish your style with uniformity and complete consistency. Keisha will show us first how to use the curling iron. The hair on the model has been shampooed, conditioned, and the spray and shine products have been applied in preparation for curling. The first thing we want to do before using the curling irons is to make sure the hair has been straightened. Right now I am using the smooth back pressing comb. Applying the comb to the client's hair, then press down to the hand pad and go until the hair has been completely straightened. The hair has already been previously shampooed. Now that the hair has calmed and straightened, we are ready to style it with our Golden Supreme irons. I am sectioning the first piece of the client's hair. Using the silky iron, I am smoothing and sealing the cuticle of the hair. Near the scalp, I will put the hair between the iron and move it downward all the way through the ends. This will give a nice curl at the ends of the hair. The smoothie iron is great for clients who want the hair to lay straight. I am using the iron here to straighten my client's bangs and give them a nice wave. Once the hair is straightened, give them a little bounce using the hair shine mist. I am using the double crimper to add wave to the client's hair. Once the hair is sectioned, close the hair between the iron and hold for two to three seconds. Work your way down the hair, placing the iron in the last wave from the previous section. Follow through all the way to the tips of the hair to give the section a nice wavy look. Apply some hair shine mist to give the hair extra shine and bounce. I am sectioning the hair. The iron has been tested. I am using the back of the iron with a technique known as smoothing and sealing the cuticle to give the hair a smooth and shiny finish. Now I will curl the hair. Start close to the scalp, slowly feeding the hair and to the iron, manipulating and rotating the iron. Then slide the hair out of the iron when the rotating is complete. I am sectioning the hair and the iron has been tested. Place the hair between the iron and hold for two to three seconds. Work your way down the hair, placing the iron in the last wave from the previous section, following through all the way to the tips of the hair to give it a deep wavy look. I am sectioning a portion of the hair about an inch wide. 
To use the spiral iron, I am riveting pieces of the hair and applying some of the hair styling spritz. Starting at the tip of the hair, insert it inside the barrel. Keeping the hair in line, rotating the iron, working your way up the hair. Then make a candlestick arc and hold it for three to five seconds and then unwind the hair from the iron, creating a perfect spiral. I will section and ribbon a portion of the hair about an inch wide. Test the iron on the heat tester. Clamp the tip of the hair on the box iron and rotate the iron and wind the hair upward. Hold in the candlestick position and release to give a nice box shaped curl. Section and ribbon the hair about an inch wide and apply some of the hair shine mist. Test the iron. Clamp the tip of the hair on the barrel of the iron. Rotate the iron, working your way up the hair. Hold the hair for three to five seconds and then unwind the hair from the iron, creating a Z-shaped curl. I am going to section a portion of the hair and apply some of the hair shine mist. Smooth and seal the cuticle. Starting near the scalp, I am clamping down on the hair and holding for three to four seconds. Release and work your way down the hair starting at the last wave and follow all the way through the ends of the hair. I am using the Cinderella Hair Texture Blade Razor to smooth away loose and stray hairs and clean up the neck area. I am going to section the hair and smooth and seal the cuticle. With the C iron, I can get closer to the scalp and curl the hair to create a deep curl on short hair. I am sectioning the hair. The iron has been tested. Start close to the scalp, clamp the hair to the barrel of the iron, Pull the iron outward to create a waterfall style. I am going to section a portion of the hair starting near the scalp. I am clamping down on the hair and holding for three to four seconds. Release and work your way down the hair starting at the last wave. Follow all the way through the ends of the hair to give the hair a soft wave design. I am sectioning the hair and the iron has been tested. Place the hair between the iron and hold for two to three seconds. Work your way down the hair, placing the iron right after the last wave from the previous section. Follow through all the way to the tips of the hair to give it a very natural, deep, wind-blown wave.
Heat Express. Engineered by Golden Supreme, Heat Express offers quality at an affordable price. Let's take a look at the entire line of Heat Express products. The Heat Express Curling Iron. The Heat Express Curling Iron is an open barrel iron which differs from the Golden Supreme Curling Iron that has a closed barrel. Heat Express was designed to allow the more budget-minded stylists to build their business until they are able to upgrade to the higher quality and precision of Golden Supreme. Our Heat Express curling irons are available in 16 different sizes, from our smallest model, the HE012, to our largest, the HE80U. The Heat Express C iron. The Heat Express C iron has a unique design to put a curve in the hair while giving it a shiny and silky look. The C iron is available in seven sizes HECO1, HECO7, HECO8, HEC10, HEC20, HEC40, and HEC60. The Heat Express Flat Beveled Iron. Our Heat Express Flat Beveled Iron is a flat pressing and beveling iron and it is used to straighten and blend as well as bevel or curl hair. These irons are available in three different sizes, HEF1, HEF2, and HEF3. The Heat Express Wave Iron. The Heat Express Wave Iron is designed to give hair that naturally wavy look by creating elongated waves. These are available in four sizes, HEW1, HEW2, HEW3, and HEW4. The Heat Express Pressing Combs. Our Heat Express pressing combs are made of solid brass and are available in three sizes, a single press, a double press, and a mini temple. Heat Express also offers an electric version of the temple pressing comb and the smooth back pressing comb. The Heat Express ceramic thermal stove with wide mouth comes with an on-off switch on the cord. The jumbo large mouth will accommodate the largest of irons. The ceramic thermal stove with wide mouth is available in 110, 120 volts. The Heat Express ceramic thermal stove with standard mouth is smaller than the wide mouth stove to fit in tighter workspaces. The Heat Express standard mouth stove comes with an on off switch on the cord. The standard size mouth holds up to a 60S iron. The ceramic thermal stove with standard mouth is available in 110, 120 volts. The Heat Express thermal stand works with both the standard and wide mouth ceramic stoves and holds up to 10 curling irons and 3 wave irons. The Heat Express Iron To Go Thermal Bag is a sleek carrying case which holds 12 irons. Heat Express offers a complete 16 piece styling set which includes stove, 9 curling irons, 2 flat irons, 2 pressing combs, and a thermal iron bag. The Heat Express 7 Plus 1 styling set included is stove, three curling irons, one pressing comb, one flat iron, and a thermal traveling bag. We also have a Heat Express 4 plus 1 starter kit, which includes two curling irons, a flat iron, and a pressing comb in a free four-pouch carrying case.